everybody, it's Gameragi. We're back with Banjo Kazooie. Last time we got to Treasure Trove Cove and got pretty much only like half of this island done. So let's keep going. <laughs> I think you can take fall damage in this game. Pretty sure. Pretty yeah. Cause because I can remember the way Banjo reacts is like. And then you're like, oh, I feel bad. I feel bad. Sorry, bear man. I made you squish. I made you squish. Okay, this actually starts a treasure hunt that involves flying. So, heck, let's just do it. Why not? X marks the spot. Follow the clues if you're looking for gold. I am. So we have to follow these arrows and find all the different X's. Need red, red feathers to fly higher. Let's see if I can snag this Jinjo like a boss. Like a boss, like a boss, like a boss. Either that or I'm gonna fall in the water like a like a not so boss. Oh well. It's all good. It's all good, I'll come back. Don't worry. Don't worry about it, man. Oh. So this is fun, yeah. And you can push B to do oh no, I don't have beat barrage. Never mind. But, uh, and by B, I meant X. <laughs> Stupid Xbox controller. You're confusing me. But yeah, like, you get this attack later on where you're in the air and you can just do this crazy, like, just dash forward where it's scary, but it makes you fly a lot faster. but like tropical islands are always such a good place for uh ha ah, you'll never find me now yeah, i don't think so tropical islands always make good levels they're always so cheerful and upbeat i love them i love them i guess that's why so many people love uh super mario sunshine because it's like it's such a good tropical like getaway type game Anyway, here's the last X. Boosh! Yikes! Please open me gently! <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. It has to be very violent. Ain't that right? I'm Batman. I talk like this because people can't notice that I'm actually Bruce Wayne. Ugh. Seriously, why does he use that voice? That's freaking dumb. Superman, uh, doesn't even have a mask on. Coffee and mints? I'll be right over. I'm not coffee and mints, man. I'm a bear on a bird. You're very mistaken. You have a very poor sense of smell. Probably because you're a water-dwelling creature. Ugh. There he is. <laughs> Sorry, snacker. No stack for you. What's over here? What what be over hither? Besides imminent death due to shark attacks. Whoa. They have such good contrast between the platform and the wall. That's awesome. Makes things easier on me for sure. Ain't that right, Banjo, with your yellow pants and your giant belt buckle? I would not mind having a belt buckle of that magnitude. I could be a real Texan! Even though I don't live in Texas. I could... I could pass for one. And they could teach me how to shoot deer or something. I don't know. <laughs> what do Texans do? Nah. What do you have? Whoa! Two freaking mumbo tokens. I don't think he says that. 
There's a water mine right there. But I want to go down in the water. Because I believe there's something in there. Dive, dive, dive! Yep, there most certainly is. He can't do his little dance underwater. I bet he feels bad. An extra life. A Jinjo. Let's get the Jinjo first. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm gonna fall down and have to go all the way around again. Yay! Orange Jinjo! I'm starting to think maybe all their eyes are the same color and they're just the color of their skin is messing with my eyes. <laughs> Cause I don't know. Oh wow, I actually made it. That was pretty nice. I must admit. Hello. Oh, leave me alone. I don't want anything you're selling. That beak slamming is like so nice on these little crab friends. We're not actually friends, they're more enemies. Another mambo thing. Should probably get that. I don't know. It's kind of weird that they have these in this level when there's no mambo skull. Maybe the requirements for the later levels are just like so astronomically high you actually have to explore all the other places to be able to do it. I don't know though. Okay, I would like to go. No, I won't. That's just a flight pad. Um, I remember something being down. Oh, yep. Look at that. There's an empty, empty honeycomb down there. There's definitely an empty honeycomb down there. Man, that's sneaky as heck. I mean, there's nothing to lead you down there other than you just have to see it. Here, okay, let's get this chest really quick. Ugh, just eggs. They're poopy. You're a big poop. Can I get everything up here? I guess I did. I'm coming! We're about, we're bound to get freaking nipped by Snacker in this one. Ugh! Now you're jerk! Lovely! That tastes rather good. Well then why you only nip? Why don't you just take a big chunk out of me, man? That's my question I pose to you. Alright. So, we can actually start flying, I guess. Well, although we did some flying already. <laughs> I mean, really flying. There is a mumbo token over there that I'm very scared to get. But we're gonna do it! We're gonna do it anyway! Oh no! Ooh, ah, you wanted me, didn't you, tiger shark? Yeah, I'm too clever for you. <laughs> gimme, gimme! <laughs> hey, Snacker, look what I got. Look what you didn't get. <laughs> oh god, oh god! Oh. Look at his eyebrows. You can tell he's angry from his eyebrows. <laughs> Either that or he, he didn't. He didn't tweeze his eyebrows enough and he just looks angry all the time, even though he's just... He's, he's actually a nice shark, he just wants something to eat. Who knows? I'm on top of the world, ma! I'm on top of the... Oh, wait a minute. No. No. I'm not on top of the world yet. Soon. Sooner rather than later. There's something good in here. Oh, a jiggy, good. This be Grunt Tilda's booty. Touch it if you if you dare. Oh, I dare. We got a jiggy, and this camera angle's terrible. Looking through the keyhole. That golden treasure was for me. Now harder still the game will be. What? You gonna make it harder on me because I got that one? That one jiggy? Oh, this is gonna hurt. Fall in the water. 
Thank you. Okay. I think we're just about done with this place. Just gotta climb up this. There's like one note here. <laughs> That's just silly. Hello, clam chowder. He said hello, clam chowder. He didn't say hello back. He was very rude. A lot of eggs and a Jinjo. I'm coming, Jinjo! Is this the last Jinjo? I don't rightly know now. Here I come! It was! You've been awarded a gamer pick! Lucky you. What? Gamer pick? Really? Okay. I, honestly, my Xbox isn't even connected to the internet, so get Xbox Live is completely lost on me. But that's okay, that's, that's alright. I do enjoy getting things. Anyway. Alright, so I guess we have to climb this monstrosity of a mountain. I don't want to cheat because I don't want to miss anything. Oops, notes. Notes. Oh no! Okay, now I want to cheat. <laughs> oh wow. That was pretty nice. That's a nice shortcut right there. Here's the grunty switch. Boosh! That cannon was loaded. Get it? Loaded as in rich? Not loaded as in actually loaded? Pretty clever there. That was pretty clever. Pretty dang clever. Yeah, we got all the notes. And the last jiggy. Dancing around and bowing to the audience. What an epic place to get the last jiggy. God, look how freaking tall this is. <laughs> Oh, that is great. That is a, a great thing right there. So now we gotta get down safely. Now we can't just exit the world. So you can view totals like a dice. Treasure Trove Cove, 100%ed in 20, 29 minutes. Yeah. We're doing good, we're doing good. We have everything so far, which is pretty nice. Uh, or... Okay, I'm, I'm gonna do some daredevil maneuvers. You ready for this? Banjo surveys his uh, surroundings. Wait a minute. Let me, let me get it down a little farther. <laughs> Ow! Shoot! Well, that was that was pretty that was pretty skilled. Pretty skillful there. Where the heck am I? In relation. I really hate these reversed-looking controls. They're really messing with me. All right, ready for this? Oh! Yeah, yeah. That was pretty sweet. Oh, that was pretty sweet. Hello, honeycomb uh, creation machine. I know many bees went into making these honeycombs, but I'm a bear and I eat honeycombs. This makes me wonder what Kazooie is eating. She's eating jiggies, that's what she's eating. <laughs> Freaking jiggies. They don't look very tasty. Hello, crab man. Alright, so we need to get up there and get that jiggy. Is this where the cannon was? Yep. Okay, so there's some health up here, but... No need! Ay, 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 ay. Better not punch me again, dude. Oh yeah! Yeah, they painted the wall here too. <laughs> That's funny. So we're done with Treasure Trove Cove. 
Uh, just like that. Uh, just like that. Right, so what are we opening next? I don't know. What's down here? What click clock would? Uh, who are you? Hello there, young ones. I'm Brentilda. Brentilda's nicer sister. I've crept down here to help you defeat the old hag. It's about time she was taught a lesson. I know all of Grunty's disgusting secrets, and I'll tell you three of them every time you find me. Remember them well, young ones, as they will help you avoid a fiery fate. As X as you like to hear them. I'm still here. I watch you play. But I can't think of much to say. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's awesome. So yeah, uh, Brentilda here is going to tell us a whole bunch of dirty secrets about Grunty that we're actually going to have to use like at the end of the game when we go through a giant trivia section. So, uh, odds are I'm probably not going to remember all this stuff, but we'll, we'll try it anyway. <laughs> Ugly Grunty's nickname was Cauldron Butt at which school? Cauldron Butt? I also know that sweaty gorilla feet is her favorite smell. Yeah, I can imagine. And the old hag's favorite color is gruesome green. Well, that's good, because that's her skin complexion. I guess it saves on buying makeup. She doesn't have to actually cover that up. Favorite color. So this is definitely like a world that's not going to happen for a while. I don't particularly want to... I don't think I can even fill that up, actually. I don't think I have enough jiggies. So we'll just remember that's there. Save it for later. Hundred and eighty notes. You're open you stupid door or Oh wow. <laughs> Look at that. Which way will you go? I'm grunty with my scarf. It's very cold in my dank dungeon. Yes it is. Maybe we should uh, invest in some heating. Dang you! Punching me. Hey, she has a jiggy in her stomach. When the back of Grunty's hand whoops your butt, you'll hardly stand. Okay. <laughs> that wasn't very well rhythmed there. Uh, there's another Bruntilda. Let's, let's just talk to her real quick. Hello. My lazy sister often sleeps in a pigsty, the dirty hag. The one, only thing she ever won was the biggest butt competition at witch school. Yep, that's why her nickname was Cauldron Butt. Am I right? She often boasts of appearing on the cover of Fat Hag Monthly, polishing her crystal wall. Uh, that wasn't very gross, but I guess you could think about that in a weird way, and then, then it would very much be gross. So we're not going to think about that, we're just going to just gonna go on. Ain't that right, ain't that right. Hello, friend! 260 notes, oh no! I guess we know where we're going. Is this a pumpkin? Is that a gremlin? Some creepy faces on the wall. I don't remember that at all. <laughs> uh, where am I? Who are you? What's in here? Another Brentilda. Oh, jeez. My fat old sister's favorite sport is broomstick racing. 
Although she's dim, she attended Fat Hag High. That's just a high school. You won't believe that Gruntilda's party trick is blowing balloons up with her butt! That is disgusting. <laughs> oh my god. How could you have that much gas? How could you possibly have that much gas? Hey, keep your feet out of... You can't use us until you've spoken to bottles. Oh jeez. Sorry, boots. I guess you're not made for walking after all. So, we haven't opened this place yet. Uh, I honestly don't know where the painting is to do that. Unless that thing that I thought was click like wood was actually this. Which I'm starting to think it might be. Balls! <laughs> I'm a noob. It's been a while since i played this. A freaking while. That's okay. I like doing things kind of semi-pseudo-blind, you know? Oh, she started talking, but I interrupted her with my screen transitions. Don you screen transitions! Go in the water, let's do it! Hope I have enough jiggies. And I hope this is what I'm thinking it is. Because if this is click clack wood, then there's no freaking way. It is click clack wood. What the heck, man? Oh, now I'm like completely lost. Uh, bye. It must be in that pipe or something. I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm sure this part's been going a really long time. I'm only adding to its confusion. I forgot what was up here. I think this is where... That one place I didn't really explore because I didn't think it would be... Anything. Hello. I see that little grate isn't open all over there. I can't cross this. Oh, hello! Looky here. Is that all that does? Oh no. <laughs> Shoot! Oh wait, there's another switch over there. Open sesame! There we go. Are we making progress? I don't know. I honestly don't know. This is cool though. I like when overworlds are like another world. And not just hubs. Although hubs are nice. Hubs are nice. Another Brentilda. <laughs> God. Grunty wears massive bloomers under that repulsive dress of hers. Massive bloomers! Thank God. She's also got this nasty pet dog whose name is Big... Oh, shoot. I didn't even read it. <laughs> Big something. My sister sings in her own band, Grunty and the Cauldron Crew. They're awful. Ugh. I don't want to hear her sing. Oh, thank God, another button. There we go. Okay. Hope I'm making progress. Dive, dive, dive! I don't wanna blow up, man. Is there anything down here? The only thing that bothers me about this underwater thing is that you can't control the camera freely. It's always centered behind you. Which I guess is a nice thing due to the controls being the way they are, but here we go. Bubble Gloop Swamp. Does that remind you of Candyland at all? Maybe a little bit. If you want to place all your pieces, just press the right trigger. Oh. There we go. Ooh, bubble gloop swamp. Now we're getting into creepy stuff. 
Mm. Molasses Swamp. Is that what it was called in Candyland? For fudge, molasses... Melted Fudge Swamp. Uh, I think it's molasses something. Anyway, I think I'm just gonna end this part here. And next time, we're gonna head into Bubble Gloop Swamp. Hopefully not get nipped by any uh, alligators, because I did see a giant one in that, uh, in that painting right there. So, yep. See you guys next time.